Hey friends, Ugh. welcome, <laughs> welcome to my channel, oh, Hearts Fire Garden. I am Jules, and today I was attempting to actually get my stupid fence up around my little garden because we have critter issues. I can smell a skunk somewhere near us. Oh, it's gone now, but I could a little while ago, and it was like, oh boy, maybe that's what's coming into my garden because wouldn't you know, the trail cam that I bought, I had to return the first one because the um, car got stuck into the unit. It's like, what? And then, so the second one I bought, I got actually a video of a raccoon. So, and that's on a previous video, I think just the previous prior video. And uh, cause it's been a little while cause we've had rain and crappy weather. And then I'm dealing with this rodent issue and I have a foot issue back and forth in, in and out of my doctor's office since surgery. So it's just been a mess. So at any rate, and I was really sick the other day uh, with DKA, I'm diabetic. So at any rate, I was trying to get, um, I was trying to get my fence up today. Ta-da! Fence that I've built myself so far. And while it may not be the prettiest fence, the only thing I really care about is if it's gonna keep out critters. Like that's my biggest issue is the critters. And I just need this fence up so I can get planting. Now, I'm gonna have actually have to um, rip out the six by six carrot bed, like all of that right there on that side is carrots. I picked a few of them. I've got purple cosmos in there, which I'm really disappointed about. I planted this, these carrots, all of these carrots in September, late September, maybe early October, oh sorry. And um, they're bitter. Like they just didn't grow well over the over the fall and winter. Um, I was hoping to to harvest them before it got too hot and the soil's just too hot, so they're really bitter and just gross and woody, and you can't fix that. So um, I'm gonna rip those out, and this is probably gonna be a primarily tomato bed. I'll probably have tomatoes at least on the two sides like an L shape and maybe down the other way and then have some flowers and herbs in the middle. So that's my hope for that. Um, give me a minute. I want to do a quick little garden tour. While I don't have a whole lot going on out here, I do have some. So let's figure that out. Let's, let's do a garden tour, shall we? That'll be fun. So I know it looks like a disaster out in my garden and it kind of is right now. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but my plants out here, well, at least the potted ones. These I got um, for Mother's Day. Brooks and Natty surprised me with a trip to the farmer's garden or farmer's market, which is huge. There's a really great big one um, out by us. And so, and we don't go very often because, you know, I bring home plants. But look at this dahlia. Is this not absolutely stunning? Um, like, I don't, can't even get in this pot anymore. But there's one, two, there's at least three plants in there. So I'm super excited about that. I got this for $18. Like, I would have gladly, well, I wouldn't have paid it, but they could have asked 50 bucks for that. And that would have been, I think, pretty doable. This is a pretty little hydrangea that I've been wanting to get. This one was actually only 10 bucks and it's a gallon, like gallon size. So I scored big on that. I bought, I bought this really beautiful uh, climbing red rose. It just, the smell is really beautiful. And I've got a ton of buds on this. Scored this for 25 bucks. Um, oh wow, I just got a whiff of that rose bush too. Mm, so nice. Um, these are all my little seedlings. These are the ones that I haven't up potted. And they actually look so much better. Look at these stems, like, the stems on these tomatoes, tomatoes and pepper plants look amazing. I've got blossoms on, look at these, on these extra squash plants that I have. The ones that I've up potted actually look terrible. Like a lot of them have died. And I'm just not 100% sure why, like, they look awful. See, this is an A Blanken. So I honestly don't, this one looks pretty good. This one, what's this one? This one's an A Blanken. So at least I have a couple. I do think like we've gotten a lot of rain 
the water is not helping them. I think it's just too wet. So I think they've just been like, peace out. Um, got a few over here that look okay. It's a Paul Robeson, Paul Robeson, Paul Robeson. I think my Isis candies are all pretty much gone, which I'm sad about. But I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. I need to get these beds cleared so I can plant my tomatoes. So I guess instead of building vents, that's what I'll be doing. But I have some lilies that are coming back. Um, got some little little bits in there that are coming. This is actually a snapdragon. I'm not sure why it's blooming there, but whatever, it's beautiful. And this euphorbia is actually looking really nice. I love, I love euphorbia. Looks like it's gotten a little waterlogged actually, which it has because we've had a lot of rain. Um, this needs to be weeded. It's another type of um, lily. And this is my bucket of stuff that I haven't emptied yet simply because I don't have anywhere to put them yet. I've got grapes in here. I've got a hummingbird mint. I've got my little tree that I'm going to plant. I've got two uh, figs. I've got some blackberries. I've got this um, this uh, lily of the valley, which was lovely at the beginning of spring. I'm sad that they have such a short blooming season. This says, um, oh, what is this? I bought it on purpose. It's a, <laughs> um, it's a very invasive little plant. I forget. Oh, I'm blanking. Anyway, and then I've got some blackberries that I'm going to put in some raised beds. So. Oh, and then the newest, the other new one I got is this. I've got this little bay plant. Isn't that beautiful? Got that at the tiny farmer's market that is a gazillion dollars overpriced up the street. <laughs> and then I have this bucket of wildflowers that are lovely. That actually, it was a seed mix that I planted last year that nothing really bloomed. And this is all my, this is some wild, or some thyme. In with you, euphorbia and the thing. And I've got a little zinnia. That's actually Natty's zinnia that I bought for her. Oh, there's another rose bud getting ready to bloom. All the buds, I can smell something. It must be that rose. It smells so good. Oh, and then I've got my banana plant, my banana tree, and it's got a few little babies, so I'm excited about that. These die back here, and then they grow back in the spring. So a little bit of damage from, I don't, honestly don't know what, but possibly the sun. I don't know. Um, I've got some citronella down here. This is Natty's little plant that a farmer gave us the other day and then I uh, we left our herbs on his counter. So I'm gonna go back this weekend and go get them. This little tree is planted too close to the patio. So I may need to dig this up today actually and plant it where we have a dead really sad. It's a dead pink blooming dogwood that has never bloomed. Bought it last year. You can see it like right there. See all the little birdies flying around. Anyway, um, anyway, sorry. Um, so yeah, I, I've always wanted a pink dogwood in my backyard and I've now, two of them have died in my backyard and I just don't know I don't know. I don't know what's happening with the trees in our backyard because others flourish. Like I have this, this tree. It's not even supposed to be a tree. It was supposed to be a shrub. So I don't know what that's about. I'm just letting it go because I think it's beautiful when it blooms. It's white. It's actually supposed to be an obedient white. If anybody has any information, I would love to know some more about them. I don't, I can't find a whole lot on them, but they're beautiful white flowers and they smell delicious. Um, the other one died my stupid I blame I blame the uh, the clay that we have here I think once the once certain plants just hit that clay and they can't get through the clay I think they really struggle so or maybe it was me I don't know at any rate I've got some um, I think this is cat mint not the same as um, hang on let me turn the camera around that'll be better anyway so there's some cat mint starting to bloom I have another um, I have a whole bunch of bulbs that I planted that are starting to come up. I mean, obviously these guys. Ooh, I wonder if these are finally the 
Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what those turn into because I, like I said, I planted a ton of stuff. I think this is, oh my, what is this? This is, well, that's a weed. And that's a weed. And I can smell the mint. There's some mint in here. I just kind of let this area go for the most part. I've got a huge rosemary, rosemary <laughs> plant that looks beautiful. I've got sage in here. I'm trying to remember what the heck this is. I've got some chives that are doing pretty well. I've got mint in here that I don't actually use as a purposeful plant. I think this is, oh, where's a little stick? I know it's in here. I plant, it did not look like this last year. So I'm trying to remember what in the world I planted. What are you? Ooh, I can smell it though. Mm. Uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, and then I've got, I think this is, um, bee balm. I've got a ton of those. Hi, baby. Come on out. And I've got some more bulbs and things. I think that's a sunflower over there. I've got those. Oh, the drill died, babe. Um, and these, I've got a couple peony, peonies come in, but they're not blooming. This is the third year for them. So it'll be a little bit. Hang on. Um, and, and I don't know, there, peonies, I guess, need a couple of years, sometimes three or four before they bloom. I've got a random daisy plant, like, outside, but I don't care. I think she's beautiful, and she can stay. Anything that blooms in my book can stay, for the most part. Yeah, isn't she pretty? Yeah. And a new snapdragon. I didn't remember planting, but maybe. And we've got some more, like, little tree saplings. Anybody want some trees? Come over to my garden. Oh, and I've got some, I've got some little zinnia, zinnia babies in here too, which at this point, um, is going to be hard to weed around them, so I think I'm just going to leave them for the most part, if I can. No, oh, I think that's one of them. It's cute. Um, to just leave them go. I don't know what that thing is, it's, I think that's a weed. But anyway, and then there's Nanny's little flower bed that we have a, we have an unruly mouse that lives in here that digs everything up yeah. which is really just ugh. Oh, look at my poor flowers. I know your poor flowers well we need to trim those love oh look you've got some lavender blooming yeah. starting to bloom and you've got some um, of that I forget I know what it is but don't, don't oh. get close to my playhouse okay so yeah I bought all this extra lumber like these two by twos I have no idea why. I think the general idea, I think, was to put the two by twos on top, but I'm gonna have to put those on the bottom, and I think that's fine, but I don't have screws that are long enough, so it's like awesome. Ugh. But I think my garden will be lovely this summer. You don't have a drill. Well, that's not gonna help, baby girl. Mama needs an actual drill. We need to pull all these carrots out. You wanna do that for me? Sure. Okay, I will get you a bucket. Okay. Awesome, I have a happy helper. Yay! Okay, happy okay. helper. Okay. And that's why you came out? Awesome. Okay. Happy all right, happy helping me. Okay. That's gross, but these are all going in the in the compost, okay? Can you pull all of these out? So I'll pull, them. pull them out by the bottom, okay? Close to the dirt. Mm. And we can marvel at how pretty they are. Mm. Oh, look at those. Oh, we got some peanuts on that. Okay. No, put them in the bucket, babe. In this bucket. There we go. Oh, we'll do the middle. Yep, that one. Yeah, these are some parsnips that I was super excited about. Ooh, I've got some cute little mushrooms in here. That's always a good sign, right? I'll pull this one. Oh man, these are pretty. Still, still little. Well, lesson learned, guys. Mommy. Those are little, honey, but pick them. Put them in the bucket, honey. We're not eating these. We have to compost them because they are all bitter. And I don't think we can fix that. So, 
such a bummer, man. Such a bummer. in places but I honest to god I don't care the idea is to keep critters out not to win fencing contest though gotta say that section right there kind of bugs me <laughs> as does this one but I'm not gonna not gonna redo it all it's fine so I didn't forget about my video from the other day like it's a it's two days later from the last time I I think it was two days yeah it's just been two days but I got a little sidetracked and stuff and things, but I am certain that I'm gonna get at least a big chunk of this fencing done today. I have to go to Lowe's. It's not always the way. Like you get started on a big home improvement project of some kind or a big garden project or something and you're, ha you're in the middle and you have to stop and go to the hardware store. It's the worst, I tell you, the worst. But I have to get different screws. Like I bought this lumber the beginning of the spring last year like right after 2020 kind of hit i think and um like the covid stuff and so i do remember vaguely going to home depot to get the one by twos and i got two by twos a crap ton of them like i got an equal amount of both for the most part i think and it's like why did i get these like what was the plan? I know I was gonna build the fence a little bit differently. I was actually gonna put the galvanized fencing in between the posts and the rails. But A, you need, you absolutely have to have a couple people to do that, at least for me, like, because the fence falls over and it's just a huge pain in the ass. But I'm building this fence by, by myself. Like Brooks just doesn't have the time to help me and it's hot and you know, everybody complains. Nanny was out here for like five minutes to help me with two rails and she was like i'm hot i have to go in and can i get a strawberry snack and oh my god like she's freaking out so she's in the house super fun um so i'm getting some measurements i gotta go and get some different screws um for the two by twos into the one by twos and then the two by twos into the other two by twos so i need a handful of different size screws and i also have a fence or a gate issue that is kind of a problem my um my latch fell off and it's massively sagging so i need to get a i need to get a turnbuckle for this and hope the heck like i can just get that together i am excited though because then i can get my center block raised beds put up and then i have some um like there are cheapy little ten dollar trellises that i bought last year maybe the year before for melons or something. I forget, I was trying to train melons to go up these things and they were just, the melons just were, did really badly last year. But I have these trellises laying around and they're just cheap one by ones, you know, boop, boop, boop. But I have this beautiful space right here into the um, center block raised bed and I have climbing a climbing rose. So I think I'm gonna put those here and on that side, because I have two of them. And then that way I can get a good home for my climbing rose and something for it to attach to and grow on. And then along the fence rail, and I think those roses will be beautiful. I'm very excited about that. So, all that to say, my mission today is to try and get a good bit of this project taken care of. Also, I have the coolest thing to show you and I'm so excited. So do you all see this little weird bud thing? It kind of looks like peas and its friend. <laughs> Those are alliums and they're, they should be giant globe purple alliums. I planted them last, a couple of years ago actually, and they've just never bloomed. And then I planted a whole other bunch of them this year. So I'm really hoping to get a bunch of alliums. For those of you who are not in the know of alliums, alliums are like these big balls or they can get really big, like the size of my head big. And they're purple flowers or they come in white. Um, I think they come in like a sparse pink and they're like these flowery balls and they grow this big long stalk and then 
they bloom and they're amazing and they have a ton they're very well known in the um in great britain like they're almost a staple in any cottage garden or any garden whatsoever and i have fallen in love with them and i want them in my garden so bad i can't even see straight so i am super excited to see them bloom so i will definitely be keeping you informed on that so until then i'm off to lowe's and uh let's see what we can get done today wish me luck Not the most perfect leash level fence, but it's gonna do its job and I'm excited! Yay! And look, sweet peas! You probably should go wash. So, finally, finally, finally got this stupid fence finished and done, and now I can finish this video from like a week ago. Um, like I've said, it's not the most perfect thing. Like, I just don't care at this point. I just needed it to be up and functioning and there we go. Because I found a new sepateur. If you watched Jess and my, or Jess's videos, you know what the sepateur meaning is. But um, thankfully it's not a rooster or a chicken, but I found a baby groundhog yesterday perched on the edge of my lettuce bed. Which, granted, there's not a lot of greens in it, but one more freaking animal coming up, eating in my in my garden. So, Brooks was so helpful and so sweet about helping. And yesterday when I saw her, and aren't these beautiful sweet peas? Aren't they lovely? Um, yesterday when I found her, I had to come out and shoo her out of my garden, and she didn't take off running like her parents, Tank and Hennessy, who I have fed for the last two years. Um, but she went out somewhere over in this pit area. Actually, there's a big hole in that board. Um, and I've made mention of this before. Our fence desperately needs to be replaced, but lumber prices being what they are and the fact that we are not the Rockefellers and these fence builders prices are just astronomical and we have other things going on this year so it's just not in the cards so we came out last night and i started working on that pit so taking it down because i'm actually going to reuse the center blocks from a lot of it i'm actually going to plant my banana trees and some other small shrubs in there just to make it pretty because it's such an ugly it's just ugly like it was supposed to be um it was supposed to be my compost that was my original compost section and it's a weird funky section of fence it's not it doesn't sit square for some reason um so it just is what it is but all that to say i got brooks had to help me the man has the patience of a saint i just have to tell you because he he does poke fun at me and he does get very frustrated with sometimes the things that i do like loading up that compost bed with small decorative rocks that I had at the bottom of some flower pots that died. So anytime a plant would die, I just go heave the, the dead soil into that, rocks and all. And so there's probably 50 pounds of rocks at the bottom of that. But um, all that to say. So we got that taken care of, filled it in with some straw that I bought last year for uh, my rose bed ground which I wound up not using because I decided not to. I only paid a couple bucks each for each bale, so it's not like I was out a lot of money. Anyway, and I figured, okay, well, we'll just use them for fall and then we'll, um, we'll use them for fall and, um, you know, we'll toss them in recycling or whatever. Like, it was before I really thought much, too much about the mulch pit that I now have, like my mulch pile or my compost bin so that is decomposing nicely I only found one um, boop noodle which is a snake for those of you not in that know um, and it was an itty bitty little snake a little um, like a little garter snake or whatever um, he actually he was had a little tuft of skin flaking off his chin he was starting to molt starting to shed so uh, that was cool to see because I've never actually watched a snake or seen a snake when it's 
shedding. So that was neat. Um, anyway, so we did get the rest of this bloody fence put up and together. I have a lot of extra two by two posts. I'm not really sure why I bought so many because I bought all these pieces of lumber last year, uh, early in the year, like right after 2020 kind of came undone. Cause it was, you know, the home, the home improvement stores were the only stores that were open that you could still go into. So I would literally run in, grab some lumber and run back out. Um, I wouldn't take Natty with me. That was just me. So all that to say, I have extras. And so I think I'm going to actually post them in the middle of each section just to kind of um, make that bed a little bit stronger. And I think I may be um, able to hang off, hang some lights off of it maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I am moving some cinder blocks up front um, on either side of my gate so that way I can build some other raised beds for my flowers that I have purchased. I have roses, climbing roses or a climbing rose bush on one side and then my other rose bush I feel like should be a climber and if not that's fine I can plant it next to that one and get another climbing rose bush. So I'll have rose bushes and I'll have you know um, just different plants and flowers in the front beds and then I will have along the side which is my long portion of the fence I'm gonna have more raised beds and cinder block raised beds and I'm gonna plant my blackberries in one great big huge bed because I want that to be full and then I'm also I also have some grapes um, that I can plant so it can grow along the top of the fence I also have some honeysuckle that I would like to actually put over where I had a pollinator garden last year. I don't know what I'm doing with that. It's just a big weedy mess. Um, I'm, I am a little bummed because actually I had a big beautiful zinnia coming up from seed like a volunteer and I think that little, that little baby groundhog ate the leaves off of it all but one. So not amused. So I don't know. It just depends on what I can put over there. And then I have some other shrubs that I'd like to plant over there as well that will expand and be really beautiful. And then I have some fig trees and I'd like to plant them together. I might actually put those on the other end of the, cause I have, yeah, sorry, thinking out loud. So. All that to say, I have plans. I have plans for the fence and raised beds, um, more raised beds, I guess. My idea actually, while we were putting the rest of the end pieces together on this fence, I looked at it and I thought, man, wouldn't it be amazing? Like Secret Garden was my favorite, one of my favorite, favorite books. Still to this day is still one of my absolute favorite books. It's just brilliant. Love the movie. Um, and I always wanted that secret garden. I always thought how beautifully romantic was that garden. Like it was just amazing, like with a key and a gate and like how fabulous. So hence kind of my gate and like, you know, the trellis that you have to walk under that's gonna be covered in hopefully peas and Malabar spinach and melons and beautiful flowers and things of that nature. Um, so that's the, that's the hope. Uh, so, my thought over there was, oh my gosh, it'd be amazing to have all of these climbing beautiful plants covering this big ugly, you know, wire fence, but while it's still doing its job and be kind of, kind of enclosing my raised bed. So that way when people come over and they say, oh wow, what a beautiful archway. And you know, like, is that a garden back there? And then you go through the gate and you see this beautiful garden. That's the goal. At least until I get property and I can build a proper secret garden, which is which will be amazing someday. Hmm. Someday. Anyway, all that to say, I have a I have a garden to water so and a shower to get and dinner to be made. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me for the last week. I guess I think it is. Ugh, sorry, like more more content is coming. I promise. Um, not next week though, because I'm going camping. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope everybody has a great evening and afternoon and until next time friends happy gardening